In this video, we're going to continue to look at instance variables and class variables. So let's go ahead and load up the book file. We got book.rb file here. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the methods, see if it shows up there. So there's our get cvar, and we should see somewhere in there the get ivar, but there it is right down here. So we have our two methods now showing up there. And let's go ahead and run them. Uh-oh. That's not what I'm expecting. This should be something. But it actually is what it needs to be. Because remember, it's an instance variable. So that means it only gets a value with an instance. Well, we have to give it a value. We can't really declare it ahead like this. Now let's see if that holds for C var, and then then we'll really our brains will be hurting if this doesn't work. Oh, thank God that worked. Now it's making a little bit more sense, I hope, in showing you that an instance variable is only going to have that value for a particular instance, and you have to give it a value where a class is always going to have that value. So if I go in here now and add just one more line. And one more method, a simple method, and I'll just say set ivar, and don't worry about these details, that's covered in another video, and now let's go back in here and reload, reload that, redeclare b as a new book, and now we'll say b.set ivar, and let's just set it to one, two, three. And we come back. So now if we say get Ivar, whoo, it worked. Now to show you this one second more here, if I do a C equal book dot new, and I'll do a C dot set Ivar, and let's make it some letters. And now we'll see, do a C get Ivar. There we go. Let's go back up and do our B get ivar it should still maintain that one two three there we go so you can see how that that instance of each one of those has its own value whereas if we do a c dot get c var it's still going to have that same value and if i changed that value had a method that actually changed that class var a class var up here it would change in all these classes at the same time. So that's a little bit more information about instance and class variables.